As a leader, okay. do you believe that language is really um, important and reflective of the work that we do? I don't know. What, you have to tell me what you're getting at, and then I'll tell you what, one way or the other. The words that we choose to use, are they powerful? I, I, I we'll see. Well, um, so I, when I first got this, um, I thought it was going to be outdated because it was like 2014, mm -hmm. and I had concerns about the language that we use and yeah. the agency is using in, in talking about undocumented immigrants. Um, if we're talking about children, for example, our undocumented, uh, our, our unaccompanied minors, for um, then using words like illegal aliens, maybe not. Well, yeah, the, frankly, you, you, maybe I, it's just because I'm. I'm going to ask I'm, you not I'm, to I'm, interrupt I'm, me so I can finish my sentence. Okay, sure. Um, I had a concern about that, right? And so, that, but then in your testimony, you use it again. And so, I'm guessing. And my question is: Is the agency standard or typically referring to undocumented immigrants as IAs? Is that like I always use uh, illegal aliens, and I have when I was assigned to the Department of Justice, when I worked the FBI, and when I was assigned as the director of the Foreign Terrorism Tasking Task Force, because it's a term, it's a legal term, it's in statute, it's a federal term, and and it's not it's not intended to. To, to degrade anybody in any way, shape, or form. Well, I'm gonna, and we can have a difference in opinion, but I think yeah. it's important for you to know that there are people, and specifically in my community, who would find it very um, concerning okay. to use this language. And as we try to build bridge, bridges, as we try to engage partners, then using language that maybe helps us engage more partners um, might be something for the agency to consider. And I'm um, asking this out of deep respect okay. um, for a agency consideration of language when it comes to specifically kids, right? Unaccompanied minors, like this is a very different, this, this is a very serious issue um, that I don't take lightly, but I also want to make sure that we treat kids with compassion and care because mm -hmm. they're still children. Well, the good news is I haven't, you know, when it comes to children, I have used the term unaccompanied children. And I've been consistent with that. I haven't called them IAs, okay? Well, I'm but uh, but I'll I will go back and and uh, talk to my staff and and reevaluate the use of words that uh, their directors have been using, and uh, to describe. But I've been consistent about that all my life, and uh, and I and I if it's insulting, if it really it truly is insulting, I don't intend to insult anybody. And I'm not making okay. that judgment. Okay. All I'm asking is that, for yeah. example, if you come to my community and language like that were used, I think that it could. It could limit build walls as opposed yeah. to build bridges for people in which we need to be our partners, right? Yeah, no, but I'm from your community. I'm from El Paso. So. Well, I know, but I'm still there okay. right now. Okay, very so. good. I just need to get there more and often, okay. <laughs> just saying. Point, uh, point taken. Thank you.